Saskia. Hi, Nikki. Um, I'm interested in how you see uh, sociocracy as a way of decision making and convergent facilitation. I, I, use, I have used them both and I think they work together very well, especially, uh, but I'm interested in your view on sociocracy as a way of decision making. So I, I see sociocracy as having two parts. One is structural in terms of you know, how you structure relationships between teams and circles and all of that. And the other is how you make oops, decisions within a circle. Yes. And uh, I, I am not an expert in sociocracy. Um, I did do the training and you know, participated in a few sociocratic decisions. It looks to me like sociocracy is making all decisions at the same threshold, paramount objection. Yeah, 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 there's a difference, yes, yes, there is. So if you make all decisions at the level of paramount objection, you become a decision-making factory. You produce decisions, but you may lose in wisdom because if you lower the threshold and more things can come in, and you integrate more things, it might take longer, but you will get uh, more collective wisdom and sometimes more buy-in. So that uh, you're asking for my opinion, not for yes, yours. Yes. And yes. it's fine, you can have a different opinion. Yes. So yes. Depending, you know, if you need a quick decision, holding paramount objection as the threshold will produce it. If you want decisions about things that are long lasting, I lower the threshold, you know, sometimes it could be not a paramount objection, but it could be, you know, this is going to be a strategic plan that we're going to live by for the next five years. So it's really important to integrate all concerns. So even if you have a small niggle, please say it, it produces very different results from paramount objection. So that's, that is my core concern about sociocracy. Thank you. Thank you.